Hello YouTube, here I'm going to talk a bit about the Ethernet capability of the STM32F4 Discovery Kit, or yet just the STM32F4 uh, 107 chip itself. The great thing about the STM32F4, but also the F2 family, is that you can add an external Ethernet PHY and then you can add Ethernet to your project. This is the DP8348 PHY, which is also the one that is included on the uh, STM32F4 evaluation board. But by adding this PHY with a couple of connections, the diagram can be found in our blog post, together with uh, a modified uh, library or the initialization of just taking the example from the evaluation board, the Ethernet web page example, and then modify the initialization of the GPIOs a bit to match the STM32F4 discovery kit and the IOs available because this is not the 144 pin version, it is only the 100 pin version. Then I was able to get this Ethernet. Uh, program running on this board. So uh, let's hook it up and uh, I'll show you what it uh, looks like on a computer when you load up the homepage. First off, let's connect the Ethernet cable to the PHY module. And afterwards, we'll connect a USB cable to the board for power supply. At first we'll see that the LED on the board starts blinking to indicate that it is trying to fetch an IP address using DHCP. And the module here lights up and a uh, green LED blinks for data transmission. And now the LED has stopped blinking which indicates that the module has now fetched an IP address. Which we are able to see here in our router status page where we can see we have got a new client with this IP address and this MAC address. Uh, by copying this address into our browser, we'll be able to access the board's homepage, which is this one. And while this is loading, we can go back to our router status page and confirm that this is our board's MAC address, because in our main.h file, in our code, we can see that we have typed in the same address 200001 in the MAC address. So on this loaded homepage, we have some different information about this demonstration. We have a couple of images and we can also go to LED control to control the board LEDs. We can uh, set the checkboxes, press send and we'll see that the LEDs the specified LEDs turn on. We can set some other LEDs and uh, these will turn on. We can also turn all of them off by clicking just the send button. So this is the LED control page. The ADC status bar page is a page for uh, ADC information which I've currently not implemented. Um, because of the evaluation board uh, featuring a uh, pot, a potentium uh, potentiometer. Um, but uh, this gives you a nice example on uh, how the board works with the uh, homepage features, and uh, you would be able to, with this code, you would be able to um, uh, switch to another example from the evaluation board simply by replacing the board specific file which initializes the module. So hopefully you will be able to uh, use the code and the diagram provided on our blog post for your own uh, home page or web ethernet enabled projects. Thank you for watching.